Hey, Tolo Falawa. This is Leotawa Dr. John Peterson, and I am with TE2 Edge Sports Cards. Coming at you live and direct from Richfield, Minnesota. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, had some great weather here today again. Uh, mid to high 80s. I think it got even into the low 90s. And I had a lot of sun. A little bit of cloud cover too, which was nice. But uh, definitely had a nice Sunday. Uh, spent a lot of time with the dogs hanging out on the deck and playing fetch with the ball and uh, then going inside and cooling them off. So yeah, definitely a good day. Went to the park with my son and did some football, uh, worked with Coach Carpenter, uh, some quarterback drills, which was really a lot of fun. So yeah, overall a really great day. Hope you're having a great day too. Um, if you haven't had a chance, check out uh, TE2 on, on uh, uh, eBay, RJP2532. And, um, you know, don't have a ton of cards for listing right now. I'm going on vacation in about a week, so I've been kind of winding down the auctions and winding down the listings just so that I don't have a lot of stuff hanging out there before I, before I leave to have to um, take off of, you know, having, as it, having it listed. So, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be out of commission for a couple weeks. We're going to go to California and then Hawaii for a family vacation to see some family and just spend some time at the beach. So won't be doing any videos for a while, so figured I'd get a few in here before we head out. Earlier this week, I talked about cracking open some vintage cards, and uh, I thought what I, what I do today is is do a little a little test. So um, I have some pristine uh, in the green label CSG cards. Um, so you can see I got the Lamelo ball here. I've got about five or six of those in a pristine ten. Um, Pristine 10 is no longer a part of the CSG grading system. It's not part of the scale. Uh, it's part of the old scale. Right now, you either have a Gem Mint 10 or you have, uh, what is it, a Perfect, I think, is a Perfect card. So I'm going to do a little test here. I've got a few Pristine 10s. I'm going to send a few of these in after I crack them open and see if I can get a couple of Perfect 10s. Um, it's possible that they'll come back as Gem Mint 10s. Uh, what, but I'm willing to I'm willing to take that risk. Uh, these are pretty, they're good cards. Don't get me wrong, but they're not like really super high end cards. I mean, they're not probably in the thousands. Uh, the Rogers might be over a thousand dollars. I don't really know what a pristine ten Aaron Rodgers goes for right now. So, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens here. So, if you haven't hit the like button or the subscribe button, please do so. I uh, really appreciate the comments that everyone's been leaving. It's been great to hear the encouragement and the questions and the suggestions and just generally have really enjoyed uh, interacting with folks and definitely got to do a live episode here one of these days even though I only have like 67 68 subscribers I'm feeling pretty good about where things are at with the program and uh, yeah overall just really thankful and blessed and pleased that people are tuning in so again hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification button if you're watching please uh, jump on board and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. So a couple things before we get started, you gotta have a few tools. One of them is a tile cutter. So I picked this up on eBay, or excuse me, Amazon. Ah, it's probably 15 bucks, it's not too expensive. Uh, you need a flathead screwdriver. This is the smaller one. You also need a larger, more full-size flathead screwdriver. And then I like to use a microfiber towel too, um, just to kind of keep the shards of, of acrylic from flying all over the room. So let's give this a shot. I'm going to start with this Lamello ball. I'm going to take the, take the packaging or the sleeve off of it. And I'm going to put this over the top just to try and prevent the plastic from flying all over the place. So usually what I do is I, I crack it right here on the, in the corner, right about at the corner of the, of the, uh, the case. All right. Well, that was a pretty clean break. It came off really nice. All right, you can see so this snapped right off. Didn't even, 
didn't even screw up the label. That's about the cleanest break that I've ever done. And then if you want to, you can do the other corner. Obviously you want to do the corner away from the card because uh, you don't want to obviously damage the card. And I've got like five or six of these pristine lamellos, so I'm, I'm okay having this come back as a gem 10. It's not quite what I was hoping for. Eh, pretty close. It's almost there. Well, that one broke off pretty clean too. <laughs> totally flew, flew away. You gotta be careful when you do this because there's shards of this acrylic that are pretty sharp. Definitely don't want to get in your eyes. I wear glasses, so I got my glasses protecting my eyes. Get this in frame. Now the reason I'm doing this is because CSG has a grading scale that technically I think grades a little bit easier. So um, I figured I would give this a shot. Let me tilt this down so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. I gotta have this. You just kind of get it over here and you just kind of twist it up. Kind of lift it a little bit. That's so what I get that one in there. I get the bigger, bigger guy. Pull that flip out. I like to keep the flip because I want to see. See, and it pops right off just like that. Pretty easy. Make sure your hands are clean. These glossy cards kind of stick. So you just kind of lift it there a little bit. And there you go. Put this back in frame. And now we've got it out of the CSG slab. And I picked this up off of eBay. I probably paid 175 for it back in the early spring. This is what's left of the case. Again, you want to keep your flip because when you get the new grade back, you want to know what you got ahead with the old grade. So here's that lamello. Make sure there's no fingerprint on it. I'll wipe it down a little bit just to be safe. And again, what we're trying to get is I mean, this should come back as a gem mint. If it was a pristine, you'd think it would come back as a gem mint minimally. Um, but possibly get a, a perfect 10 on this. it in any way. I've got it in a penny sleeve. And it's a bit of a risk. I mean, without the subgrades, it's hard to know specifically what uh, what this came out at, will come out as. I mean, if you have 10 as the centering, that's a good thing. So, Anyway, thought I'd show a quick video on how to crack a CSG slab. Um, I'm gonna crack a few more of these and then um, I'll send them in and then let you know in another video what I ended up getting. All right, peace out, one love.